What's up, everybody? Welcome to my live stream again. It's day two of me trying to learn how to do the boomerang scratch. Yesterday, I got as far as getting to double time to 70 BPM. But before I started this live stream, I seem to have lost some of it. It's a really easy to forget scratch. Um, it takes a lot of muscle memory. And uh, it's kind of weird. I could do it solo. But once I put on the beat at 70 BPM, I lose it again. So I kind of have to warm up all the way to 70, starting from 60. But let's do a couple warm-ups with no beat, and we're just going to do it solo. And we'll go from there. Okay, I'm going to bring back that trap beat and start at 60 BPM because I couldn't do it at 70 again. So we're going to warm up, try to get it to 70. So in today's video, we're going to go, we're just going to keep it at 45 minutes. S my goal is to at least be able to do it up to 75 BPM. And we're going to end the video, the live stream at 8.30 central time. So here we go. 60 BPM with the trap beat. It's so weird. <laughs> I was able to do this faster yesterday. So we're gonna bring it down to 50, see if we could uh, slowly bring it up. All right, I'm going to practice it a couple more times solo again.
I normally scratch with the in, with my middle finger, more middle finger with a little bit of index. But I notice when I have to do a click, it's more in control using the index finger. BPM. I don't know how there's a barrier at 60. <laughs> Let's try this back at 55.
All I gotta say is I have a lot of respect for anybody who can do a boomerang. Because for me, I could do decent one day and then the following day, I'm doing this. <laughs> Barely getting it at slower speeds. But we'll work on it. Once I get a flow, I can get it, and it it's like I have to relax my mind and not overthink it. Kind of reminds me of bowling where you have to do a couple of shots in order to get your rhythm going to start getting consistent strikes. Because now all of a sudden I sped it back up to 70 BPM where we left off the last night. gonna take a short break and my break is gonna be doing some other scratches just to clear my mind from that so I'm gonna bring this up to like about 90 BPM because before this video before this live stream I kind of started doing a flare scratch and I mentioned yesterday that I am actually not good at doing a flare in normal crossfader configuration I can only do it in hamster which is reverse crossfader but I was kind of getting, I think, what I think was an original flare down, and I was able to reverse it, like a forward, one click backwards, and then reverse it, a backwards, one click forward. Um, and it was kind of getting me in the rhythm of doing a flare scratch. So one of the hardest things about these open fader scratches, like the boomerang and the flare, is the fact that it's not the same mentality as doing like transformer style scratches, where every move you do makes a sound. The thing in an open fader scratch is that it's abstract. So it's about 
creating more sounds by adding a silence in there. So it's like a focus on the silence, but it makes it makes a note come two notes come out for every sounds you make with a click. So let's try these little flare exercises that I was doing. I was never able to do that before. And what's really cool is how relaxed you feel from getting those notes out. And let me show you why. So say the way the way I was doing it, which was a forward. And then as you move it backward, click, click off and then back on. It has three notes. So it's like this. With the mic down. If I were to have done that same pattern but using transformers, watch my hand, it goes a lot faster because there's more movements involved. So it's actually. There's actually three fader movements in there as opposed to one. So it's a lot more efficient at getting the notes out. So let's do that practice again. And the reason why I came to doing that while I was practicing boomerangs is because the fader movement on the boomerangs actually taught me to be a little bit more offset, which I need to be in open fader scratches. Like I can't be in sync with the with both hands. I have to be like kind of like the scratch has to be the scratching hand has to be a little ahead of the fader hand. And I was never able to do that before, but thanks to practicing the boomerang so much, I, I'm able to do a semi flare scratch, which, I, like I said, I think it's an original flare. It's not an orbit, which is one click backwards, one click, one click forward, one click backwards. So, one more try, and then we're gonna get back to boomerangs. Oh, my God. 
my muscle memory instincts kicked in there. started getting tense on my right arm right here and I started feeling it right here on my shoulder so just loosen up we're still at 70 ppm See if we could get it to 72.5. And the goal again is 75 BPM. Let's bring it to 75. And I'm not going to try to get it to 80 today. What I need to do, what I feel like I should do is try to just use the time to get to just perfect 75. Because I know tomorrow, once I start this again, I might lose it. Like, be, like I have to start slow, warm it up, and then bring it back up to 75 BPM. So here we go. Thank you. 
All right, we'll take a break from that, and we're gonna go back to 90 BPM and do the the flare exercises. gonna be ambitious i'm gonna bring it from 90 bpm to 100 bpm and just a reminder i set a time limit for this no more than 45 minutes to do this practice so at 8 30 that's when we ended See, we can still do the boomerang. See, it's so crazy. I was just doing it like two minutes ago or three minutes ago. Are these monitors these are the smaller pioneer dj dm40s the newest versions actually have bluetooth on them so you can play music off your phone i like them because they're small and i can bring them around the house whenever i need something little like this that's why i got them Oh, my God. 
Those are correct. They are the DM40s. They run about $150 for the pair. So I, I forgot how much the ones with the Bluetooth are, but I like them because they're also white. They match like my coffee table. I wish I had a white SB3, maybe from 12 inch skins. <laughs> Challenge myself, we're gonna go 80 BPM. <laughs> Not bad, a little sloppy, but I'm actually surprised I was able to do that. So part of the goal now is, after doing this for two days, is I have to be able to do it on a snap. I should not need to warm up to be able to do it because today I had to start back down at 50 BBM just to be able to catch up to what I did yesterday, 70 BBM. But let's keep practicing this. We got 10 minutes left and we'll probably do a little more flare exercises. So weird how thinking will throw you off. As soon as I start, just just a little start focusing on the forward back, the baby motion on the on the jog wheel, it messes my whole my whole rhythm up to do the boomerang. Take a break from that and go back to 90 BPM. And we're going to do those flare exercises again.
And in case you're wondering why I am doing those flares as my break time from the boomerang, it's just when I was messing before this video started, and some of you guys heard this already, but basically the boomerang set my rhythm up so that my thumb can click the crossfader in the right rhythm to do a flare. I was never able to do that before. And uh, now I can start practicing actual flare scratches. And mind you, I've been scratching 22, 23 years. And I was never an open fader scratcher unless I was in hamster style. So in between my boomerang practices, that's what I do is I take a break, get my mind reset by doing a different scratch. So here we go. Try it again at 100 BPM. down to 80 BPM and go back to practicing the boomerang. <laughs> Forgot how to do it. Let's try this again. BPM, 85 BPM is where I brought it up to. I'm going to bring it back down to 80 because 85 is really, really uncomfortable. And 80, I still, I'm still getting used to as well. So let's knock 80 down until we close this video out. Really appreciate everybody for joining me today in my journey to learn the boomerang scratch. The whole idea is when everything settles down out there with with the pandemic, I want to be able to boomerang when everything's good.
All right, and that is all we're going to do for today. 45 minutes of me learning how to do the boomerang scratch. Day two of doing that. Yesterday, I started off at 50 BPM doing double time boomerangs. And we got it up to, yesterday we got it up to 70. When we started today, it was, it was hard getting back into that groove. So I had to start it back at 50 BPM and just warm my way up all the way back to 70, which was where we left off yesterday. And now we are at 80 BPM. So as part of learning it, I want to be able to learn it to the point where, I want to learn it to the point where I don't have to warm it up to remember how to do that rhythm. And on top of that, we added an extra offset practice of doing flares in between because now I kind of have a rhythm on how to click, which I never had before. So anyway, thank you for joining me tonight. This was my day two of learning how to boomerang scratch. Thank you guys. Appreciate you for watching.